Well, hello, hello. Welcome to an indoor cycling hit ride. I am Marshall Elliott, certified group exercise instructor, personal trainer, yoga teacher. I just wanna go over some quick bike basics before we get started. If it's been a while since you've been on your indoor bike or maybe just to recheck your settings and see where you are, where you should be, think of your legs like the hands of a clock. So when one leg is completely down, say in the six o'clock position, you should have a slight bend in your knee. If it's a deep bend, raise your seat. If your leg's completely locked, you wanna lower your seat. Bring those feet to three and nine o'clock and that front knee should come right over the ball of your foot. So if your knee is pushing out toward your toes, slide your seat back. If your knee is way back behind the ball of your foot, bring the seat forward. Your handlebars are all about the comfort level of your back and your core engagement. So the lower they are, the more you're gonna work into the core. If you're feeling uncomfortable on your back, raise your handlebars up. I always recommend having water and a towel close by, but especially today, we're gonna to be doing more of a hit ride. So I want you to focus more on the intensity that you're riding and some of the speeds. Your resistance is going to be key in that. A lot of times we go into some of our group cycling classes and we think lighten up the load, go as fast as we can on the sprints. We're gonna challenge not only the intensity of our muscles, but also of our cardiovascular system. So that's gonna mean even in those sprint rides when we're going really fast, we want some resistance on our will. Depending on your bike, everyone's got a little different setup. So maybe you've got a dial, maybe you've got a lever, maybe you can see numbers and go by levels. I won't talk about numbers as far as levels just because most people don't have them. I will throw out an RPM or a mileage because maybe you have a screen that calculates that or some other device, maybe on your watch or something. Otherwise, I want you to just challenge yourself, find a little extra intensity today that you normally might not have. It's a little different time of day. I'm a morning workout person but I kind of had a full morning, so I thought, hey, let's do an afternoon workout, you guys. So I'm so happy that you're here. Come on into your bike, get strapped in or clipped in, wherever it is you need to be, and let's get warm. Now, if you don't like the music, you can always mute it and then just try to watch and match me and play your own music. As you get started, you wanna make sure that the brake pad is in connection with the wheel. So we're not gonna free spin. We wanna make sure that we've got a little bit of dial on. So if you think of it as a scale of one to 10, about a two or a three on your dial. Your chest is open and there's a slight brace of the belly. So find a natural curve in your spine. Relax shoulders away from ears. Soften the elbows, and then find a comfortable grip for your hands. Depending on your handlebars, that could be close, that could be wide, it could be someplace in between. Only 30 minutes today, so we're gonna get warmed up pretty quickly. Usually for our afternoon and evening workouts, because we've been a little more active during the day, our bodies are kind of warm. So, warm-up's gonna be short. Add another load. Not sure what that load looks like for you. Maybe you add the level. Maybe a quarter or half turn on the dial. Whenever you need water or towel, everyone lift up and roll your shoulders out. Opposite direction. Interlace fingers, inhale, rise. Drop your shoulders, open your chest. Push your palms forward, tuck your chin, drop your shoulders. Come right back down, add another load, pick it up, go. So we're going with instrumentals. We're going with some heavy hitting beats and we're going for a big workout today.
Can you maintain this pace? Add a little more load. If you can see RPMs, 80 to 100. We're moving right in to our first flat road. Keep it steady. You should have enough resistance on your wheel that your legs feel locked in, but light. Think road bike. We're still seated. Starting to pick up our speed just a little bit. Wind control. Two options. Tap into this rhythm or rise above it. Easy, relaxed grips on the handlebars. Right about now, I would like for you to set a goal for yourself. What are you looking to do today? Oftentimes, we want to burn fat and calories. Sometimes, we want to improve overall fitness. Maybe you're looking for faster speeds, heavier climbs, or just endurance. Set your goal, stay focused. Pick up your pedal stroke. You should be nice and warm now. If you can see, RPMs right around 100. If you cannot, try to match my leg speed and you're there. Stay right there. This is what an endurance ride would be like. We get into that steady state and we hold on. Check your heart rates. Are you in the training zone? If you're not sure what that is, message me. I'll tell you how to calculate it. Did you slow down a touch? I'm still right around 97. Hang on to it. Just like that, I tapped into the rhythm right back at 100. Less than a minute. Can we go just a little quicker to the finish? Go. Rise above. Grab a quick drink, we're gonna climb. Here we go. Step one, feel this rhythm. One, two, one, two. Step two, push your hips to the rear of the saddle. Lengthen your hamstrings, stay on this rhythm. Step three. Add as much load as you can, maintaining this cadence. You should start to feel that weight on your legs. One, two, one, two. Our RPMs, somewhere in the 60s. So if you can see a screen and you've hit 70, add more load. If you can't even get 60, Take some off. Feel the rhythm. Undeniable. Now, if you've been out on your road bike, especially here in Colorado Springs, you will know 
it's not flat. You'll start to feel where your inclines come in naturally. But on our resist on our indoor bikes, we add resistance. How much is up to you? I've got an old school Star Trek. I'm adding quarter turns. Already feeling that. Start to do this. Push down into your heel. Drag your heel toward your butt. And then lift up through the top of your thigh. That's going to help you engage your full leg. Calf, hams, quads, even into your glutes. Feel the rhythm. You're only seated a little bit longer. Don't quit on me yet. Can you add another gear or a quarter turn? Rise up, hands to the front, right onto the rhythm. One, two, one, two. It is just a touch faster. If you see your RPMs, they might look the same or a little slower because we added that resistance. Now, even up here, lock the belly on, open up the chest, pull the elbows back, relax your shoulders. Do this, push your hips back. There should be a natural sway, side to side. One, two, one, two. I don't know about you, but initially, I was happy to stand up. But maintaining the cadence with this resistance is a challenge, yes or yes? Ride with me. Huh. You're more than halfway up. Don't quit. Endurance. Intensity. Strength. Cardio, come on. Can you make it 40 more seconds? Push your hips back a little. Woo. Say hello, hammies. Good day, glutes. Push down through the heel. Kick it back. Lift up through the thigh. Keep rocking. You're almost at a break. Don't stop. Don't slow down. One, two, one, two. Nice. Reduce. Keep your legs moving. Catch your breath. Grab a drink. From flat roads to hill climbs, right into interval work. So, your resistance, somewhere in between that flat road and that hill. RPMs in the 70s. Find a resistance that while seated is a challenge to maintain this pace right around 70. One, two, one, two. If you think you can run here, add more weight. Hands are gonna come forward, rise up, chest up. The second you stood up, if you felt like you could take off running, that's a signal, maybe add a little more. Same tempo, sit it back. 
Can you feel that? I bet you can. Reach up, rise up, go. This is almost like an active recovery in this big hit workout. This is putting us midway through. Sit it back. At the end of this midway point, that's just over a minute from now, we're gonna sprint. We're really gonna kick it into high. Come on up. Body weight is forward, but don't lean. You wanna lean in, not forward and down. Sit it back. One more time, rise. Prepare, what was your goal? Get your mind ready. Sit back, lighten the load. That flat rope resistance. Four sprints. 20 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Yeah? Your goal, your challenge is to move as fast as you can. But if you can see your screen, about 120 to 130 RPMs. If you're above 130, not enough load. If you can't reach 120, too little. Add it on. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Body forward, go, go. Upper body relaxed and still. Belly braced. Drive your knees quick, let your toes dip. Halfway, go, 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 go. Four, three, two, 20 seconds. Let it roll. Ten seconds. Number two. Hips forward. Toes dip. Lower than ankles. Ankles fixed. We go. Three, two, one. Pick it up, pick it up. Come on. Halfway. Four, three, two, one. Two more. Breathe. High intensity. Interval training. 10 seconds. Two more sprints. Are you with me? Four, three, two, go. Get your body forward. Drop your toes. Come on. Halfway. One more. Keep your legs moving. We started a little late. We're gonna run out of music, but we're still gonna do 20, yes? Or yes. Five, four, slide forward. Get low. Let's go, go. Keep going. Come on. 10 seconds finish. Five, four, three, two. Reduce. Lift your chest. Keep your legs moving. Final three songs of the workout. Breathe, quick water, and then we rise. Cheers. Remember the in-between load you had on those intervals. It's less than two minutes. Find it as you rise up. Bring your hands back beneath your shoulders. Listen to the tempo. Elbows 
elbows are back. When they're out here, we turn off our abs and we put load into the neck and shoulders. Pull them back. Add a gear or a touch. Now, we're leaning forward, but we're not pushing weight into our knees and holding ourselves up with our upper body. So if you're sinking, because all your weight is in your arms, lighten your load, pull your hips back. At any time, you can take a seat or stop adding the load. Add here. Same pace. Gradually building the resistance to gradually build the intensity. Scale of one to 10, about an eight. What do you say? Add. Woo! Now I'm feeling that. Not a hill though. Stay where you are. Now there's not a lot of bounce because my core is locked on. Sit back, but keep the low where it is. These are your final two working songs. You want them to work for you. Sit your butt back. We be climbing into the last song. Let's go. Now, I'm gonna challenge you in a different way. Instead of adding load, we start to pick up our pace. RPMs, around 70. Scale of one to 10, you're still working that eight. If you haven't already, pick up a little more, about 75. Feel the intensity. Feel that smoke, that steam coming off your legs. Come on. A little quicker, push for an 80. Shouldn't be an easy 80. Should be a breathless 80. Where'd you start? Come back. One, two, one, two. Right around 65-ish. Can we work our way back up to the finish? A little quicker, 70. That seems doable, yes? Challenging, but doable. Remember that goal you set. Don't waver, 75. Find your strength. Find your endurance. Find 80. Pull back, four minutes, Tabata. 20 seconds on, 10 off. Rise up, same load. Eight rounds, 20 seconds standing run, go. Feel it, on or above it. Stop, hands come forward, 10 seconds off. Chest up, bring your body weight forward. 20 seconds, go. Different grip, belly braced. Halfway. Listen for it. Where did you feel stronger? Here or here? Round three. Knees up. Chest lifted. 
10 seconds. If you need to sit, sit, but don't quit. Five seconds. minute 20 seconds total go come on come on don't you dare slow down five seconds final three one minute of work 20 seconds at a time. Three, two, one, go. Two, one, go. Last two. Challenge yourself to be stronger, to be better. Then the first two. In. being here. Thank you for pushing me to be here with you. Thank you for doing your best every time you work out. Start to slow your legs. You can add load if you need. Push the brake if you need. Bring your legs to a stop. We're going to rise up with the hands forward. Relax your knees and sink your heels down. Keep taking slow, easy breaths in the nose, out of the mouth. Release, switch. This time, drop your toes. Open up the front of the ankles and the shins. Push your hips all the way to the rear. Pull your belly button in, tuck your chin. Spread across the lats, feel that nice stretch across the back of the body. And then relax, come all the way forward. Lift, arch back, open up the front of the body. Spend all that time bent over. Come back into your seat. Take your right hand to the handlebars, left hand to your saddle. Lift and twist to the side of the room. Pull your left shoulder back. Feel that release across the spine. And then switch. Come 
come back to center. Take your time, unstrap, unclip, however you get down from your bike. Give your legs a little shake and a little release. Whichever side you're standing on, your outside hand grabs that same angle. Pull the knees together. Micro bend in your standing knee. Now push your foot into your hand. Feel the quadriceps, the front of the thigh, you elongate. Take that same foot, figure four, cross the opposite leg. Sit your hips back and then drop the knee down. Feel that release across the hips and the butt. Good knee, good max. Take that same leg, any height you choose. It can be on the floor, it can be lower, high on the bike. Soft bend in the knee, hinge up your hips and reach forward. Stretch across the back of the hamstrings, back of the leg. You can stay on this side, you can go to the opposite side, grab the opposite foot. Keep your balance, micro bend in your standing knee. Cool down's never long enough, is it? Push your knee down to the floor, push your foot into your hand, feel that beautiful stretch in the front of your leg. I hope you pushed yourself. I hope you got a great workout in this evening. Figure four, sit back. If you didn't hit this in real time, and maybe you wait and hit it in the morning or later on in the week, do what you can. And good for you for taking your fitness into your own hands. Hinge at the hips, micro bend to the knee, beautiful hamstring lengthening. These are just some quick stretches. If you're not going on to work out a little bit more, I highly, highly recommend that you stretch a little bit more. I thank you again, as always, for joining me. Have a super terrific rest of your evening. Be good to yourselves. Be good to your bodies.